Wow, what a beautiful Shavuot celebration that was. The all-night study, the dinners, the reading of the Ten Commandments, our speaker who came back from Israel with beautiful, beautiful stories of reconnecting to his tribe, a tribal judge, and the reading of the Ten Commandments and celebrating with community thoughts and stories, really beautiful two days. And I hope you join us tonight and Shabbat to continue that celebration. And we also got some amazing, amazing news. Our daughter Esther, together with her husband Mula, had a baby boy over Shavuot, over the holiday of Shavuot. What a beautiful gift, what a beautiful blessing to have a boy on this holy day of Shavuot. God willing, the Brit Milah, the circumcision, will be on Wednesday. Now, why do we wait eight days for a circumcision? What's the idea of a circumcision? Circumcision, obviously, is the covenant between God and the Jewish people, where God says, if you circumcise the Jewish males, you'll have that special bond with me. That's the covenant of Abraham. Why do we wait eight days? Why don't we just do it in a hospital under the supervision of a doctor rather than doing it with a male and waiting eight days? Obviously, because the Torah says we should make it after eight days, a ceremony, religious ceremony, not just a medical procedure. But what's the idea of eight days? So the Talmud says that one of the reasons is because you want to make sure that the boy has a Shabbat, that he passes through a Shabbat, at least one Shabbat. So if you have eight days, you definitely have a Shabbat in between. Shabbat represents the pinnacle of creation, the holiest day of the week. Seven-day cycle, the holiest day is Shabbat. Brit Milah goes beyond that. Circumcision and the covenant is beyond Shabbat even. It's eight days, it's the miracle, it's that which supersedes the natural. The idea of taking a little child and circumcising it and bringing him into covenant seems somewhat super rational. What's the rationale behind it? We're not teaching the child. The child doesn't really know much about what's happening and it can't make its own commitment. Shouldn't we wait for a little longer for the child to be older, it understands, and then we do the circumcision? Well, I'm glad we don't do that. We do it while the child is still a baby. But what's the deeper meaning? Why do we? What's the value of bringing a co- making a covenant with God when we don't really understand what that covenant is? Well, that harkens back to the commitment the Jewish made at Mount Sinai. The Jewish people made at Mount Sinai when they were asked, "Do you want the Torah? Do you want to have the, the special relationship with God and follow His commandments?" The Jews said, "Naaseh v'nishmah." We'll do whatever God says, and then we'll try to understand what He says because our commitment to Judaism and a commitment to God is. Beyond rationale, beyond understanding. It's not about making our lives better, but the commitment that goes beyond anything we understand. That's the, per, the exact idea of bringing the, Jew, the Jewish boy into a covenant. Making that covenant even when they don't really understand because our connection to God supersedes any rationale that we have. And if you had any questions about if that connection is deep and real and is there a rationale, what about the super rational? Just have a look around the world today when the anti-Jewish, the hatred towards Jews is super rational, beyond any rationale. It doesn't make any sense because it goes deep, deep inside the psyche of the human beings. So, which points to me and to us that we do have that super rational commitment to Judaism. This is what kept us alive for 3,336 years. This is the covenant. This is what the people of the world are envious of. And this is what we have to, we should live up to. Please join us for the celebration tonight. And tomorrow, in honor of baby Itkin, Mazaltov, Mazaltov, Shabbat Shalom.